15 years later, 9-11 is still on the minds of people who were alive during the attacks. SNN's Crystal Knowles spent the day in the classroom of a Sarasota teacher at Booker High who says he remembers it like it was yesterday. 9-11 was a historical event that changed U.S. history forever. And although right now most high school students weren't even born at the time, teachers feel it's important to start teaching the next generation. Students sit still, hearing every word Mark Spessner, a history and social studies teacher, has to say. My office was two blocks from the, uh, the, the towers themselves. Recapping his experience working as a lawyer in Lower Manhattan back in 2001. I was there as events were unfolding. The World Trade Center under attack, planes crashing into the North and South Towers, showing video so students can grasp the scale of this terrorist attack. Spessner taking the history lesson even further, calling his mother Lila Spessner. She was at work that morning at the World Trade Center. I had no idea what, whether my mom was okay. Lila giving these students the inside scoop of what was happening inside the building. When the first plane hit, I had just arrived at my office all of a sudden there was a tremendous shuddering and uh, I actually was knocked to the floor. Mark holding back tears as he and his students are holding on to her every word. No one ever in their wildest dreams could have imagined that the towers would collapse. But some students have a connection with 9-11 as well. Tessa Kutu was only two days old when her grandmother was at Emma Booker Elementary. She was the teacher when Bush was in there and reading to the kids. Some guy come in, talk to Bush while he was reading to the kids. He told my grandma, something's happened, I have to go. But Eddie Duffy wasn't even born yet. My aunt was on a on the Brooklyn Bridge uh, in traffic and she watched it happen. Every year, Mark turns the Day of Remembrance into a teachable moment. Stay tuned tomorrow because I interview a first responder who was there the day of the attacks. In Sarasota, Crystal Knowles, SNN Suncoast News Network. Crystal, thanks for that report. Spessner says he started teaching and sharing his life experience with students in 2010 and says he plans to continue.